guys, Wolf of Dimensions coming back at you with a new episode of Kaiju Council. Now, um, as I said, once the holidays and stuff start kicking in, I'll be doing a lot more videos, and this is to start that off, I'll be having one maybe two to three out every day like I used to. So get excited for that, but, um, and you know, yes, there will be edits and stuff in that, I'm very excited, so continuing on, will Godzilla Jr. ever return or make another appearance in the... Um, new Godzilla Kaiju universe that's coming out. Now, this is a very interesting question because it, it you know, it's very confusing in a way. We saw Godzilla Jr. what, um, 90s. Really, his first appearance was in the 60s with Minya, but you know, that wasn't everyone's favorite. Now, moving on with that, the um, theory, the whole um, backstory with uh, Godzilla Jr. was a very interesting one in the Heisei series. Because it put out a theory that, you know, it, it, it kind of solidifies the theory that there is always going to be more than one Godzilla. And um, the thing with Junior is he was a species of godzilla -saur that wasn't even carnivorous. It was more of a plant eater, which, and it was, kind, it was kinder to humans. It had a relationship with humans, which was kind of important. Let's say you get a monster like Godzilla, and you train one from when it's little, and it has a very similar pattern to Godzilla, except this time it's friendly to humans. That means it would be more willing to protect humans as long as it was not fired upon. Which could be a good thing for the people of Earth or whatever country it inhabits. Now, goes to say, you know, the Heisei series is not nearly the same as the new Shin series or the um, Legendary series. It's not even close to either one. It's its own thing, just like the Showa series was its own thing. And the um, Millennium series was its own thing. Each is its own type of Godzilla. So, um, Shin, Shin Gojira wise, if there is something like a Godzilla Jr., it will not be in that same relationship wise. It'll just be a new Godzilla that pops up, and I doubt they'll call it Jr. Um, I just expect it to be a new Godzilla, because if you want to go and if you go and watch my um, Godzilla, Shin Godzilla 2 theory, it also, I, I explain more about that. But um, in the Shin Godzilla series, I do not see a family bond between two of these creatures because I think it's stated that they really don't have much of an emotional type of feelings anyways. Now, um, Legendary Godzilla, it's really tough. I mean, is it possible? Yes, but do I think they're going to do it? It's like Anguirus. Like, Anguirus is possible for the Legendary series. It really is. But does that mean it's going to happen? No. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to shoot down all of these ideas, but, like, two of my favorites were Godzilla Jr. and, um, Anguirus. But, you gotta look at the probability. We don't know how much Legendary has bought. What, what Legendary is gonna do is really gonna depend on sales and directors and, you know, like, how King Kong's gonna do. Um, you know, I've, I feel like they'll add another monster in to fight with King Kong and Godzilla so they don't just fight each other. Because that's how a lot of those, uh, you know, superhero movies go. Like Batman and Superman fighting, um, you know, uh, what's his name? Oh, God, I know his name. I can't remember it right now. Um, it's not, is it Doomsday? It could be. No, it's not. Um, so, besides that, like, I know who it is, I just can't remember. It's kind of forgot. So, moving on past that little memory loss... Um, Godzilla Jr.'s appearance would have to be if this new Godzilla was either in trouble or they just decided that they'd show that this Godzilla was not the last one of his kind either. I think that's the big factor of Godzilla Jr.'s appearance in any show is to show that Godzilla is not a lone anomaly. Now, the Showa era did this in a different way. Instead, and I think, like, here's how I see it. If, if, if Legendary and Shin did add another Godzilla, Legendary would make it more like the Heisei you know, Godzilla Jr. and Godzilla taking care of a child, whereas I think um, the Shin Gojira series would do it more like, um, you know, Godzilla 1954 to 1955, that we know that there's a Godzilla, and then another one appears, making it be like that it's not related to it, and it doesn't have anything to do with it, but it shows that there's more Godzillas. So that would have to mean that the Godzilla Jr. theory would really depend on the directors handling it and depend on the series. I really think that the series that we're going with here is going to affect the outcome of that decision. Now, um, 
Do I honestly believe we'll see Junior? No. I mean, this sounds a lot like my Gears video, but it's just, it's, it's how companies are. Like, most companies cannot afford to put things in, even for the diehard fans, if there's not enough of them. Because that's how business works, and that's how the world works. Like, um, I'd be dying for a third season of Code Geass right now, but that's not going to happen. It's all business, it's, it's all demand, you know, it's, it's all demand, and it's all how much it's going to cost, and how much it's going to take to put into it. So, would the idea of Godzilla Jr. be a good story one? Probably, I mean, it'd probably make it to where it shows, as I said before for the millionth time, that Godzilla is not a lone creature. But, um, it really comes down as to what the directors want and what the companies are willing to release. I mean, I'm all for it. Like, I'm like, if, if Anguirus makes an appearance, I hope in Godzilla vs. King Kong, um, you know, I'd, I'd be so happy. Like, you don't understand. Like, if they made an, a standalone Anguirus movie, I'd be so happy. But <laughs> that's definitely not going to happen. But, you know, it, it really just depends on who's running the show. And with who we've got running things right now, and until we get a new director for Godzilla 2 and Godzilla vs. King Kong, I just don't see it in the near future, guys. Um, as I said, I'm, I will hope it does. I will hope that it does make an appearance, that Junior will return. Because, uh... It, the Heisei story arc with him was very, very... It was important. It became a very important part and was very lovely. And it ended beautifully at the end. Um, I couldn't ask for anything better than the Heisei ending. And, you know, it's true because Godzilla vs. Destroya happens to be my favorite Godzilla film. Now, uh, that might spark some ire from a bunch of diehard Godzilla fans, but to me it was a beautiful send-off for the King of the Monsters, and they did it right. I mean... Just to me personally. So, final verdict, guys. Godzilla Jr. Shin Godzilla series. Um, or bleh, shorten it to Shin series. Um, no, he will not be in the Shin series. And if there is a new Godzilla, it will definitely not be anything like Godzilla Jr. Legendary series. Um, maybe, possibly, but with a high risk of a no. So, um, looks like uh, we'll have to see, guys. Thanks for watching. Um... Uh, <laughs> I'll bring more stuff out soon. Uh, Wolf of Dimensions signing off. See you guys. Bye.